What's up guys, Take here, and today I'm going to give you guys my very first, I could say, live face cam tutorial. Okay, so yeah, basically what I'm going to give you guys is basically how to edit like tech again, basically, but with a different style, and obviously uh, a different different setup, so now you can see my face while editing. So, uh, today's uh, effect is basically, I've used it a lot of times, it's how to change, um, how to change the kill cam text onto your edit. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me how to do that, and I haven't seen that many uh, tutorials on it, to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, and if the tutorial was everywhere, then no one would be asking me how to do it. Uh, best example I can give you guys on this effect was in my Obey RC. And if I turn off that sound so that it doesn't uh, blow my ears out. So yeah, it was basically featured in my OBRC most of the time, but I've used it in a lot of other edits. Uh, your 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 job to find it. But for example, the very first part was over here, right here. You can see. Let's do this. I'm gonna put it up right here so you guys can see it better. Let's do this. Uh, I had it on this kill cam. Obey supremacy. And then at the end, thanks for watching. This one was a little bit messed up, but that's basically what I'm going to teach you guys how to do today. So basically, what you need, of course, is After Effects. If you guys don't have After Effects, I recommend getting it. It's the basically the best program you can have to edit on. You have Sony Vegas, but you have a less. You know, it's hard to work on it, and the effects are sometimes. If it's the same effect, it's like choppier than After Effects. So I recommend this program. So basically, what we take a regular clip I could say so right now you have my phase meek editing contest uh, folder that shit is gonna be released pretty soon but we're gonna take well actually I'm gonna take a clip from uh, from this bad boy so if I take Twi I have twixter clips already yeah I do alright we're gonna take rain studio not style. alright so first of all what you need to do is you need to have your clip it doesn't have to be twixtered anything I prefer having mine twixtered uh, in advance it looks better and you can also edit it a little bit better so now you have your kill cam actually no I'm not gonna take that kinda because BO2 clips are actually harder to uh, do that effect on so I'm gonna take a MW2 one it's gonna be easier for you guys to understand how to do it um, 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 um we're gonna take the triple claymore alright so once again you take your your clip and you make sure that you have your kill cam and then what you need to do make to make sure first of all you need to make sure my computer is like okay. you need to make sure you have your clip duplicated so that you can actually do that effect now you need to go back onto your kill cam so go back to the very first frame where your kill cam is where your kill cam starts actually and then depending on where your edit is going to be you can still cut it and make it better Alright, so the kill cam starts here, so we're going to make it sure it starts where the timer is. Alright, right here. So basically, now what you need to do is that you need to click on your very first layer, so the top one, and you click on right click, open layer. So now you have your layer open, and you can basically, um, basically, you guys can also use mask in this. Uh, I'll do that in another tutorial. But for now, we're going to basically see how to change the kill cam. So right here, we have our beautiful kill cam. Now uh, you can also change the time, but it's no point in doing that. It just makes it look weird, and you have you can't replace the time with anything. You can actually replace the round winning kill though. So what you need to do now is that you need to go into your toolbar and click on Clone Stamp Tool or Control B, basically which one you want. Now basically what you need to do is then you're gonna click on Alt on a um, not onto your uh, where the round where you want to actually mask it. You want to click on where it's like kind of like the same color surrounding. So right here, the round winning kill is surrounded by the sky basically. So what you need to do is alt click so you have this little symbol. Click. So now it basically is cloning that part. Now you just go on it and it clones like that. So of course you're gonna cover this with your other text so it won't show as much. But basically I'm I'm doing it really fast right now. Uh just Make sure that you cover the entire text with that, and you can see it goes over and over, and, sh and like make sure you don't go over your um, what's it called 
over your uh, ah, I forgot yeah your uh, time because then it looks really choppy and it's basically what you need to do I'm gonna go really fast <laughs> this is this is basic I usually go way 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 less faster than this I go slower usually but since this is a tutorial I want you guys to basically get an idea of what this looks like and then of course once you're done it's gonna look like that so now you have your clone stamp and of course it looks like that and if you take off your very first I think I've never actually tried I want to see what it does if you take off that it doesn't do anything so you're good but like as you move on to your clip it might sometime it might look kinda weird it might look weird I might not lie uh, my after effect is being a little bitch right now oh it's not see right here for example you can always you know mask it like you can always go always mask so it looks better like right here you can take that color and put it over it and, you know and it will it will keyframe I think I'm not sure I never tried it actually but uh, like right here on the soldiers it doesn't look bad at all it really doesn't but then of course right here it does but it's not gonna look that bad because now what you need to do is I need to, need to replace your text basically that's what you need so that's why you have that one under here you uncheck your basically your uh, stamp one then you go into uh, your text um, tool you can call it that and then you're gonna click somewhere on the screen and then you're gonna put for example edit of course this is uh, MW2 so all your letters should be capital otherwise it looks really weird edit like tech episode 3 here you go and now what you need to do is that you just need to crop it you know crop your text so it looks better So what we need to do though is that we need to make sure that the letters are like kind of like the same size. So I'm trying to find a letter. Okay, we, do we not have an I somewhere? Yeah, we do right here. All right. So you make sure that the the I it's kind of like the same size as the one on the clip. So we need it to be a little bit fatter than this. You know, like you need to make it basic, basically crop it the best you can. So that uh, it looks better. So you know, take like a, a letter that looks alike, or take the same letter that's in the original, uh, the original clip, and in the round winning kill cam. So you can actually have like a crop of it. You know what I mean? So like, I'm trying to make it better right now. Wouldn't it look good? I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, one more. Here you go. That's better. All right. So now you have your text, and it looks like that. So um, no, of course, I have mine set like that, and it has like the surround, like the little um, how to say outline of it. But we're not gonna do that for this tutorial because it looks really weird. Like if I do that, it looks really fake. You can't tell it looks fake. So what you need to do is that you need to still uncheck that, check that, go into your uh character. Is it character? Yeah, it's character. Click on your little uh, tool. Make sure you have the same color for your text. Now you go in here, go in here. Make sure the color is the same. Click OK. And now, usually, when I, uh, usually what I can do is that you take your text. So now it looks white, plain white. Looks a little bit better. But you can also um, duplicate it, then turn it completely black, like that. And then this one, you put it over here. And then you put it down like that. So it looks a lot more like your rounding and kill cam. As you can see, well, maybe look a little bit less than that. You know, like that. So now it looks a little bit better, you know. And then, of course, this was really, really fast. You can always make it like bigger so that it covers a lot more of the area that you've like, you know, erased. I went really fast, of course, there's like waves everywhere. But other than that, is basically what you need to do for this, and it's a really, really easy effect to do. And of course, um, playing like that, you can obviously notice it pretty easily. But of course, if you add, uh, I don't know, pumps, or if you add um, flares, or if you rotate it as the gun is shot, you know, like when there's a beat in the song, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, look, it doesn't see, it doesn't look that bad. It looks really clean, 
it, it's actually not that bad at all and um, you guys can use that on any Call of Duty of course you need to make sure that you know the font for your text and it really doesn't look that bad at all and you can use that for anything else you can use that for for example the calling card you can do that uh, what well, the thing is with the call card is that it doesn't move so it's easier you know you can still go on here open your layer and then take that stamp then you basically put it over here no what have I done what have I done alt click then you do that and then you do the same thing for here and you can do it you know it doesn't it doesn't it's not good you can do that basically on everything uh, that is, for example, on the kill cam to make it look sicker. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you leave a like, uh, thumbs up for the like, face cam too. Um, also, um, shout out to Rebel who begged, well, not begged, but he um, told me to do this tutorial majorly because he didn't know how to do it. So, that's for you, buddy. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm out. Peace. And dun 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 dun. Yeah.